beautiful people. Thank you so very much for joining me on this other exciting episode of your favorite show, Hot and Juicy, with me, your host, Miss Bing. Hope you guys are doing incredibly well, guys. I don't know what's wrong with my voice, but I just woke up with this. But don't worry, I will give you the best that happens in the entertainment industry this week. That's not going to be a barrier. So take the best position wherever you're watching me right now, and let's get it popping with the first segment of this program coming up right away, guys. Go nowhere. More biggie updates guys, probably the last time I'm updating you on this because the winner is now known. Can we put our hands together for Fish guys, please? <laughs> Congratulations to Fish for emerging winner of the biggie reality show season 2 and walking home with the sum of 12 million francs CFA, a brand new car and many other amazing gifts from Biggie's partners. This makes Fish the first male winner and second winner ever since the show was introduced in Cameroon. Noni White, despite him openly hating on Fish, emerged first runner-up and was given the sum of 2 million francs CFA after spending two months in the mansion. Bishop won second runner-up and was given the sum of 1 million francs CFA. I think this is a position well deserved. The shocking part of the finals was when Patience got evicted even after Hart started beating. What happened? I thought Patience was so much loved by her fans. I mean, her eviction took many people by surprise because it was clear that she was going to be dragging the first position with Fish and not Noni White. What could have caused this? Did her fans not vote for her enough? She had a 6.56% vote as compared to Fish who had a 72.49%. What did not play in her favor? Because during last eviction, she topped the chart well ahead of Fish, Noni White, and Bishop. Some people will blame her character. I don't know. I don't know. Fish wasn't an angel either. Anyways, guys, congratulations to all the winners and to the entire Biggie Studios team. I mean, the improvements this year were remarkably good. And we all can't wait for season three. I heard American New Yorker Shoyo will be going in for season three. Okay, now. Guys, check out the emotions of fans when Fish was awarded a brand new car. <laughs> Trouble inside the University of Nguaikele as the present rector bans some lecturers from entering the campus. Mr. Maurice Hossi has issued a ban on some lecturers of the said university, accusing them of leaking very important information of the institution, something these lecturers are not finding funny at all. So one of the lecturers said he would teach the rector a lesson after he was refused access into the campus by some law enforcement officers under the instructions of the rector. Guys, watch this. According to you guys, does the rector have the right to ban a lecturer from the campus? Let me know your answer to this in the comment section. CAF and FIFA advises Samuel Eto'o to withdraw his candidacy as president of Peca Foot and he refuses. For the past couple of weeks, retired Cameroonian and international soccer legend Samuel Eto'o has been waxing so hard to take over Peca Foot as the next president and so far has been receiving a lot of support from his fans. CAF and FIFA lately summoned Samuel Eto'o and asked him to drop his candidacy as president of Peca Foot and to join Saidu Bombo Joya in leading the set institution and he refused saying that despite all the challenges coming his way, he would take over Fika Food. According to Samuel Eto, Fika Food has been mismanaged for a very long time now and needs some changes only him can bring, says players deserve to be well treated and has promised to affiliate all players with free coaches with a CNPS so that all of them can be on pension when they retire. This is just one of the so many projects Samuel Eto has for our football institution. The game gets tougher and tougher each day. The elections are coming up pretty soon. Do you think Samuel Eto is the right person to lead the Fika foot? Will his past glories play in his favor? Let's wait and see, guys. Welcome on our international show, Beasting, guys. Nigerian artist Davido raised 201 million naira 
from his friends in celebration of his birthday. A few days ago, Davido did a video in which he called out all his friends to send him money, including our very own Stanley Eno, who did not give Davido anything because the list was published and his name was not on the list. So Davido dropped his account details and pleaded with all his colleagues and collaborators in and out of Nigeria to send him some cash. Many responded as Davido was able to raise more than 200 million naira in just three days. We are still to recover from such a record, guys. Watch this. Uh, Jude, Peter, Paul, oh yeah. When I don't reunite, I'll be, oh yeah. Share my money. Sharp. Sharp. Now, Mr. Tamo, remember who? Eh, uh, send them sharp a little. So, after receiving the 201 million naira from his friends and fans, Obio decided to add on it 50 million naira from his savings to give it all back to Nigerians. Isn't that good? Davido said he will share all the money to some orphanages in Nigeria. He has already raised a five-man committee who will take charge in distributing the funds to foundations and motherless homes all over Nigeria. Wow, what a beautiful gesture. Okay, guys, the funniest part of it is that Obio has been compared to a lot of African pastors who take money from the poor and their rich friends to buy themselves cars, private jets and build themselves houses. Meanwhile, Davido takes from his rich friends, adds his own on it and gives it all back to the poor. What are your thoughts on this, guys? Yet, Davido is worldly and your pastors are spiritual. A certain pastor even said Davido will not make heaven if he does not pay tithes from the money that was given to him by his friends. For holiday bicycle. Guys, what are your thoughts about Davido now after all this? Will you award him man of the year? Let me know in the comment section. Okay, guys, that's all we have for the first segment of this program. Thank you so very much for watching. If you're new here, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notification. It is time for us to have it more entertaining with our top 10 hottest Cameroonian songs. Those were gone away, guys. I'll be right back. Welcome back guys, opening our playlist, this episode is this beautiful brand new release from Mr. Elat. It is titled Passengers. Watch and enjoy. Everybody get a life to leave, leave your own and just believe. Say what will be, what shall it be? Yeah, yeah. One man's be Popping up at the ninth position is Nange from Cracks. I want marry woman where you sabi shake a body like a Rihanna. Go. I want marry woman where you sabi shake a body like a Beyonce. Who's up? I marry Nange, Nange come show me na indeed. Young Holiday comes up at the eighth position with this brand new release titled Crown of Clay. Welcome to the revelation of truth, emancipation of the feeble mind, the meek and the truth. Spend my life behind these bars, make that prison a proof. Now that's a sentence for a criminal with nothing to prove. Yeah. King Kum featuring Kosi takes the seventh position with this song titled Recevé. You said I've been in, get them all this era modi, get a fast error in the minis, that's to fair about me, I can't let myself. You said I start. At the sixth position, we have Gasha with her brand new release titled Jupu. Hey, I Jupu, 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 Monsugar. Hey, I Jupu, Jupu. Shabasiko takes the fifth position from Rhythms. Cause I've been a commando for your love. Popping up at the fourth position is Obu de Merebe from Avero Jess. Cleo Gray featuring Kameni comes up at the third position with their brand new collaboration titled Man No Die. Now my way give up me fuck up. Now we'll be no saying that's all life go take and turn up. There's always light at the end of the tunnel. Get your grind and keep your head up. I don't know if now which corner you did it. Blanche Valley comes up at the second position featuring Fanico with their brand new collaboration titled Dudu. Still topping our playlist this episode is Kosi with the song La Gale. Give me the mic, yo. La Gale. Ok 
Hey guys, unfortunately, this is where we draw the cartoons for today's exciting episode of your favorite show host and juicy with me, Miss Meng. Please, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn yeah, on notifications. Thank you so very much, guys, for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comment section what you think about everything I just said here. And for more information on the camera entertainment industry, stick to us. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram. It's still free. So the show is very much active on our website, too. I'll be right back next week, guys. Thank you so much. Wow. You have a great week. More biggie updates, guys. Probably the last time we are up. Sorry. More biggie updates, guys. Probably the last. More.